In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite passing plays from the Gun Bunch tight end from the play Tight End Corner in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players in this game. And so every single day on YouTube, I share tips and strategies um, that can basically give you tips on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, if you don't already know, I actually released a full offensive guide on the Gun Bunch tight end. And if you, you can get that guide for literally just 15 bucks in the description, it breaks down everything that you need to know um, about the Bunch tight end, okay? But today I'm gonna share with you kind of a sample play from that guide, something that you can kind of uh, start with. And again, if you wanna get the ebook, it's in the description and it's a great way to support the channel. Now, as you can see here, I have kind of some basic zone drops here. These are kind of popular right now. Uh, and so I'm going to be going over those. And uh, we're just going to kind of start out with a basic uh, cover three. Now, our setup is really simple for this play. All we're going to do is we're going to streak our tight end, our X receiver. We're going to smart route our circle receiver. And then we're going to place our halfback or our R1 receiver on a little option route right here. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to motion the square receiver to the outside here. And basically, we're just going to make a bunch of really, really quick reads. Now, as you'll see here, there's a lot of really good uh, opportunity to be able to hit this corner route to Devontae Adams on this triangle receiver. And the reason why is because it very acts very similar to the flood concept from the gun bunch because of the sharpness of the cut. The sharp cutting corner routes get underneath every deep blue zone in the game, as you can see right there, in a nice little pocket where you can easily lowball that. Now let me show you um, what they're probably gonna do to stop that, and that's gonna be to basically double Mabel coverage. As you see here, I'm gonna drop that linebacker on that side. We're gonna set up our play here, and you're gonna see basically if they Mabel coverage, you can lowball this very easily if you have um, a gunslinger type quarterback, it's going to be relatively easy for you to do that. So let me show you that now with maybe uh, maybe maybe that's the, the purple zone here. So you see you bring that, that cloud flat from the outside guy. And let me show you, it should open up a little bit more. You're gonna see that they're going to drop very nicely away. And as you can see right there, that little low ball uh, to that corner route is actually very, very good. And the other thing that you're gonna notice on this play is that, uh, let's say that, you know, let's say that they're you know, running just Mabel coverage over there. Maybe they're dropping an extra guy. You know, they're dropping a lot of zones on that side. And you want to work the right side hand or the right hand side of this this play. Uh, first and foremost, your tight end streak is actually a relatively good read. The problem with that route is that it's typically going to be usered a lot. So, you know, obviously if they're usering that route, you wouldn't throw that. But if they're not using that route, it's actually a nice little play because against a lot of defenses, the cover three deep blue safety will be coming from the opposite side of the field. And so you're gonna have a little pocket that you can hit that. The next route that I wanna share with you on this play is this circle route though. And this is the money route. This is the best route uh, in this formation, in my opinion, with the exception of maybe the delay fade. And the reason why is because his own drops literally just don't guard it. Um, they literally will not guard this play. And then what they're gonna basically have to begin doing is they're gonna have to be mabling both sides. So you're gonna see here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Mabel coverage both sides. So I'm dropping that flat at 25 yards. I'm dropping a curl flat as well. And I want you to kind of watch what this is gonna create. It's gonna create a lot of openings underneath in the middle of the field. But the other thing that's gonna happen is this circle receiver is still gonna get over that zone drop. As you see right there, it's gonna get over that zone drop for about 40 to 50 yards down the field as an easy, easy dot. Now let me show you that one more time here. And again, uh, we're gonna just double Mabel coverage. And you'll see again, snap the ball, and the circle receiver should get wide open over that zone drop. You see here, it just keeps running, running, running. Right there, we got a little bit of a bad throwing animation due to the pass rush. But as long as you have time in the pocket, that route is going to be open nine times out of 10. Guarantee it, you can go ahead and book it. That route is one of the best routes in the entire game uh, just for getting open. I mean, it literally will just magically, uh, as long as you smart route it, okay? As long as you smart route it, it has a really good chance of getting open there. You see it gets over the zone drops again on the sideline against cover three. 
Now the cool part is what this is going to force from the defense is it's going to force them to basically outside quarter zone their outside guys. That's the easy or that's probably the best way for them to stop this. Um, the problem with them doing that is it's going to take it's going to continue to take resources out of the middle of the field. So I'll show you this uh, right here. So if I were to outside quarter both those guys, then what you're going to notice here is that this tight end is going to be is going to be fairly open. Um, I miss, messed up on the read a little bit there, but he should be open. The other thing is the outside quarter is not always going to work. I mean, you're 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 not always going to be able to get there. Um, and I'll show you that right here. So if I motion this out, hit that circle receiver, you're going to see he's going to go, he's going to go, he's going to go. You see he does get kind of in that area. It's probably the best strategy that they have um, to be able to take this away. The problem is on the opposite side of the field, let's say that they're doing that as well. So maybe they're running some type of cover four, um, something like this right here, you know, cover four. And then they're basically, you know, kind of drop a, drop a yellow, maybe you drop something here you know, kind of do this kind of strategy here out of the cover four, then what you're going to notice is the square receiver should pull the zone. Uh, it should pull that quarter zone down. And that's where you're going to be able to hit that triangle receiver right in front of that quarter. So this play is super, super effective. It's it's very simple to run. Now, I haven't gone over too much about mean coverage. Mean coverage, this play is actually really good. The reason why is because the circle receiver will will not get pressed because of the alignment of the formation. He's not ever going to get pressed, so he's also going to be a really good read against circle. That's also why we have an option route on the field. Um, if you don't know by now, option routes, in my opinion, are one of the easiest ways to um, to beat man-to-man -man coverage consistently, especially if you have you know a good running back like Aaron Jones. You got a good running back in Regs or in Mutt. You're going to be very successful with these option routes. Now, the other thing that I will share with you here, real quick, is this uh, this circle receiver. He's not always going to get open. Uh, it does a little bit depend on route running, but you'll see a lot of the times he's going to get inside leverage, and you can throw that very easily um, in a nice little pocket. So that route is really really good against some man coverage. The other route that I would suggest against man coverage is this triangle route, but that's only if you have a receiver that's got good route running. As you see here, Devontae Adams has great route running with the route tech and is able to get open. So that is the bunch tied in. Now, if you would like to get a free sample of my ebook, I wanna encourage you to text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. It's got a one hour preview video in there for you that you can have a look at it and see what you, see what you think of the offense. But if you guys want to get this entire offensive scheme, it's available for just $15. And I'm going to put a link to it down in the description. Uh, in my opinion, the bunch tight end um, and the bunch are two of the best offenses in the game. I actually have a full Jets ebook down there as well if you want to get that. But you have no idea how good this bunch tight end can be um, until you take a look at that ebook. It will literally break down everything for you, show you step by step how to just dominate people offensively with what I believe to be some of the best route combos and one of the coolest formations in Madden right now. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you have any questions, just shoot me a text message. Um, my number is 208-218-6900.